Well, the honourable member for Macon. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Mr. Deputy Speaker, last week the Rural Doctors Association of Australia issued a press release warning of the terrible impact that a $7 co-payment will have on rural communities. <coughs> RDAA President Dr. Ian Kammerman said, and I quote, <coughs> the $7 co-payment in its entirety needs urgent reconsideration, but trying to charge it to the rural terminally ill, aged care patients, indigenous, pa indigenous patients, other high need and disadvantaged patient groups and for child consults is a step too far. Does the government really expect rural GPs to charge these patients the $7 copayment before they will provide treatment? Or does it in instead anticipate that most doctors will simply cop the cost as yet another impost on general practice? He went on to say, requiring the $7 copayment for aged care or palliative care visits is not only insensitive, insensitive, but poor public policy and false economy. Mr. Deputy Speaker, why doesn't the Abbott government take the concerns of rural people seriously? Why won't the government listen to the people who know best about the impacts of a $7 doctor's co-payment on families and drop this mean tax on families around Australia? <laughs> 